Welcome to Dance with Disease. My name is Dustin Anderson. In 2016, my index finger started wiggling, which is great if you're training a dog, but I don't have a canine companion. And then the word Parkinson's came into my life. I knew from the beginning that this was not the downward spiral of doom as guaranteed by the brochures, but a kick in the ass to look at my life and change. This podcast is dedicated to sharing my magical journey of healing through trying every alternative therapy imaginable. Thanks for joining me. Let's dance. Good morning, friends. Welcome to the podcast. My name is Ren. That's right, Ren. I'm no longer, well, I'm no longer. I'm Dustin Warren Anderson, but my middle name is Warren, and I abbreviated that to Ren so I could be the artist presently known as Ren. That's right, the artist presently known as Ren, and welcome to the podcast. This is Dance with Disease, and I am really feeling good this morning. Waking up with a purpose is so important, and I haven't for years, other than, you know, to heal from this irritating setback. Well, is it a setback? It's not really a setback. I've gained so much from this experience with Parkinson's disease that it's hardly a setback. I've grown so much as a person that I wouldn't even thought possible. And to wake up now, this morning, with a purpose to spread the word about my new film, Dance with Disease, yesterday slash today, the beginning of a series of uh, films about this experience with Parkinson's or even just disease or perceived ill health because I can't say I I don't want to say ill health because yes I've got a tremor and I've got brain fog and I slur my words and I I freeze but I don't call freezing freezing because it's more like just gaining neurological momentum because my body will do everything it's done before well maybe not the way I dance in the film (laughs) you know look at myself as a 30 year old dancing I'll go I can still do that well maybe not but it's nice to be, I'm just rambling here, but I'm just excited to be alive. I'm excited to have this experience. I'm excited to be sharing this message with friends and to be reconnecting with old dance friends. It's a wonderful experience to know that people that I've danced with will come out and support this work and to let go of the sense of inadequacy of these people that have seen me at my peak. Um... Yeah, that was that's huge for me to know that people that uh, have seen me at my peak will see me now in this vulnerable state. Vulnerable physically, for sure. Vulnerable emotionally? Hell no. I'm setting boundaries like a madman. I'm learning more about myself and what makes me happy. And I'm more grateful and more happy than I've ever been because of it. And that's the goal of this film, to show that, yes, there's struggle. But I always struggled, you know, despite being uh, physically very capable and feeling like I could do anything physically, just take, you know, I could learn anything physical. And, and that, you know, that's different now, even though I feel like I could. It would just take me a long time, and it might be, it might be a little shaky. <laughs> but to accept where I'm at and to see the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is I'm happier, I'm a better person. I'm more, I'm more attentive, more compassionate. Certainly way more compassionate for people that have struggled. I was never necessarily a, an ill willed person towards people that struggle, but now I just, I can see somebody and I can go, Hey, I, I, I can feel your pain. I can feel the fear. I can feel the frustration. And I will say though, the, the frustration seems very familiar that I have daily just putting on shoes or doing up buttons or whatever those banal daily human experiences are. My frustrations were far more intense and far more self-destructive before because I had no wisdom. Now I got loads of wisdom. I'm I'm a wise man, super wise. <laughs> and uh I'm feeling really really good about my my place in society and how I can help. My 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 experience, my expertise, my gifts are in perf- well maybe not performance but in 
presentation. I wouldn't say I was the best performer, but I certainly understand production. And to create a film that hopefully will uplift those, because we're all going to see hardship. That's just the deal. Everyone suffers, no matter who they are in what stage of their life or what economic privilege or what skin color, ev everyone suffers at some level. And my film is meant to connect with that inner, inner struggle, because we all have it, and just to keep moving forward, to deep, deep into that reservoir of resilience that we all have, and just keep moving forward, keep living life. And, you know, I'll say, though, you know, I, I do think slower because it takes me a while to gain that neurological momentum. But the... Pro productivity I realized yesterday that I have is is equal to if not more so than I was prior to this because even though I'm slower I'm more focused like I'm wasting less time I'm yeah I'm doing things I love to do and the standard of work that I'm producing now in everything that I do is much higher and I'm I feel really good I hope you can come out make the make out make the film I'm hoping that you'll be able to share that share it with somebody that will um, benefit from the message of resilience. I hope you have some laughs. And uh, yeah, December 2nd, 2020, the sign up on the Facebook page, or you, I guess you, if you're seeing this, you're probably already on it. We don't have the platform chosen yet because we're trying to decide, we're trying to figure out how many people are coming. It's going to be a much larger audience than we initially thought. Um, it's going to be at 6.30 Pacific Standard Time, the watch party for Dance with Disease slash, or yesterday slash, today, a retrospective of my life as a dancer then and now, made by me, about me, oh, it was so self-centered, oh my god, um, but the, um, yeah, the goal is to... It's eight. I should say it's eighteen minutes long, and we are excited that you can come. So hopefully I'll see you there. Keep an eye on the Facebook page for links to the platform. We'll probably have that chosen up and ready and running by Monday, if not Tuesday, and then uh, and then we'll keep keep pushing forward. It's the first of a series, and uh, thank you for your support. See you soon, or you will hear me soon. Maybe you'll see me soon. Maybe I'll, hopefully I'll see you. Thank you for listening to the Dance with Disease podcast. I am the artist known as Ren. For more podcasts and films about the benefits of Parkinson's disease, log on to Facebook, Dance with Disease, or YouTube, Dance with Disease, Ren the Artist. Thank you for listening.